Whether you're a CEO, a board president, a membership director, or just a chapter leader, your work is going to be judged on one question. Did we grow? I am the CEO of a major chamber of commerce, and each month my board has asked me to report the top of my director's report, how many members were up for renewal, how many of them did renew, how many new members did we get, how many dropped members. Nearly two centuries ago, a man by the name of Alexis de Tocqueville traveled across the new United States and wrote about the Americans' tendency to want to organize amongst themselves, creating all sorts of associations and membership groups and community bodies. Well, here we are 200 years later and those membership organizations are shrinking, they're shriveling. to be professional associations, religious groups, service clubs. We don't want to lose them. We don't want to lose you. Those service clubs have a lot of value. And so we don't really need to reinvent them, but as much as rethink them so that we don't lose all of your history and all of the good work you've done over the years. So let's make your involvement successful. There are huge changes taking place in society driven by social media, but, but we won't be talking about that when we get together. The, the change that's taking place is in our DNA, kind of in our relationship DNA, DNA and how we work and how we relate and how we get together with one another. Unfortunately, most people who are trying to evolve their organizations are running into a massive barrier, and that is the status quo. The status quo is the most powerful force in the world. It's gravity on steroids. So, so many of the organizations I work with, the common response is, to do what we've always done, let's just do it a bit harder. But that's not working anymore. We don't need a new plan. We, we need a new mindset. And I'm not talking from theory. You know, once again, I'm the CEO of a major chamber of commerce, and I was brought in to arrest a serious decay in membership. Our group had been in decline for over 10 years, really. The point, it came to a crisis point when I was brought in. Using a, a little basket of how we could change the way we think about membership has allowed us to arrest that decline and in fact are growing to the fact that we're now back to the levels of about 2013 and uh, with over 300 members. And my uh, challenge to our board of directors and our membership is that you know by the year, by the end of the year 2021, we could be at 500 member companies. So when we get together in April, I'm going to show you three major trends, not just with the millennials, but also just across society at large. The changing media community, the new time constraints, and the desire for immediate impact. And these are changing out what people want from you. So we're going to talk about also about five approaches that we can consider repositioning our organization for success, but most importantly, we're going to talk about how to create a whole new mindset within our organization. So you're not going to come out of this with a plan as much as it is with a set of tools you can take back into your organization and be the guide to help your people think differently so that you grow and that you remain vibrant and engaged. I look forward to being with you in April.